AP, San Francisco Elon Musk's 2018 tweets about the electric car manufacturer Tesla in a planned merger that swiftly fell through aroused concerns about whether the entrepreneur had deceived investors, but a jury determined on Friday that he hadn't. After a three-week trial, the jury's verdict was rendered after less than two hours of deliberation. It signals a significant victory for Musk, who spent approximately eight hours on the witness stand justifying the reasons behind the tweets from August 2018 that served as the trial's focal point. Musk, 51, missed the brief reading of the decision after making an unexpected appearance earlier on Friday for the final arguments, which painted quite different pictures of him. Musk, who is the CEO of both the electric car manufacturer and the Twitter service he recently acquired for $44 billion, was up against Tesla investors who were represented in a class action lawsuit. On August 7, 2018, Musk tweeted that he had secured the funding to take Tesla private, even though it later emerged that he hadn't secured a firm commitment for the transaction, which would have cost between $20 billion and $70 billion to complete. Earlier on Friday, during the trial's closing statements, Musk sat stoically in court as he was both denounced as a wealthy narcissist whose irresponsible behavior threatens anarchy and praised as a visionary looking out for the little guy. The trial's outcome depended on whether Musk mislead Tesla shareholders with his tweets in 2018 by leading them down a path that, in their opinion, cost them billions of dollars. The two tweets Musk sent on August 7, 2018, concerning an ill-fated Tesla buyout, were the focus of the civil lawsuit. Musk announced he had financing secured to take Tesla private in his first tweet. A few hours later, Musk tweeted once more to say the agreement would soon be finalized. Tesla shareholders attorney Nicholas Porritt urged the jury to censure Musk for his loose connection with the truth. Porritt stated that our society is based on rules. Rules are necessary for us to avoid chaos. Elon Musk should be subject to the same rules as everyone else. The lawyer for Elon Musk, Alex Spiro, acknowledged that the 2018 tweets were technically wrong. Just because it's a lousy tweet doesn't make it a fraud, he said to the jury. The trial's judge, U.S. District Judge Edward Chen, ruled that Musk's 2018 tweets were false last year and told the jury to consider them as such. Musk admitted in court, I had no ulterior motivation. My goal was to act in the best interests of all shareholders. In his final defense, Spiro repeated that idea. He was attempting to involve small investors, mom and pop businesses, and other retail shareholders in order to avoid consolidating his own authority, according to Spiro. Porritt, on the other hand, laughed at the idea that Musk could have determined he had a clear commitment following a 45-minute discussion with Yasser al roman governor of Saudi Arabia's wealth fund, at a Tesla factory on July 31, 2018, given the lack of written documentation. According to Porritt, a $60 billion finance pledge was made without a single word being recorded, which is more than the combined GDP of Nicaragua, Honduras, and El Salvador. Spiro, however, cited Musk's history of founding and leading a number of businesses, including Tesla and SpaceX in addition to PayPal, the pioneer in digital payments. Despite a sharp decrease in its stock price last year amid worries that Musk's acquisition of Twitter would cause him to become distracted from Tesla, the Austin, Texas-based automaker now has a market value of close to $600 billion. During his lecture, Porritt gave Musk's philosophy a fresh spin. If Elon Musk thinks it, or even just believes it, it must be true. The jury's decision, Porritt said in his closing statements, came down to how they responded to the following question, are the rules the same for everyone, or can Elon Musk get away with doing anything he wants without paying the price? Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.